Hello and welcome to the Supportive Care Services Virtual Lunch and Learn series. We've created a series of Lunch and Learn videos to help you be successful when navigating your cancer journey. Our Supportive Care Services Department is here to help you get actively involved in your healing process. For more information about the Supportive Care Services Department, please email socialwork at ironwoodcrc.com. Hello everyone, my name is Nicole. McAllister and I am the social worker for Ironwood Cancer and Research Centers on the West and North Valley. We also have another social worker, Jessica Wells, who covers the East Valley. I want to thank you for joining me today. We're going to have a brief discussion on different options that you have and information regarding breast prosthesis, whether you've had a lumpectomy or a mastectomy. Uh, for this presentation, I spent some time with Barbara and Susie down at Barbara's Mastectomy. It's a boutique in Central Phoenix that has been helping patients in the Valley for a very long time get bras, prosthesis, and different clothing items to feel beautiful, confident, and comfortable after they've had one of those surgeries. So we took some pictures of different products, and I'm going to show those to you today and kind of talk about all the different pieces that are available to you. In 1998, there was federal legislation passed called the Women's Health and Cancer Rights Act. This is a very important piece of legislation that allows for patients who choose to have breast reconstruction after a mastectomy to get symmetrical breasts, to get the reconstruction needed, and to get support during and after all stages of um, this surgery. And it also includes treatment of any complications that come, come up afterwards, including lymphedema, which is the swelling usually occurring in the arms, kind of armpit area or down into the patient's hand. So the very first piece of prosthesis that you may need and you may see is just post-surgery. It's not a weighted piece. Uh, it's very light. It all, almost feels like a cotton poof. Um, you'll also see in the community things called knitted knockers or sewn kind of breast formations. They're like a round um, poof that you can tuck into a bra. This is a professional piece. This is available through insurance coverage. It's very light. It feels like foam on the inside. So it's very soft, gentle. There's not going to be that weight against your breast tissue that has just had the mastectomy performed. And so this allows you to have the shape of a breast so that as you're at home recovering and you're looking down, you see that shape of a breast um, on yourself and others around you see that. But it isn't intended to be anything long term. This light poof or one of those knockers is only to be used in the very beginning with camisoles or bras, just to kind of help you overcome that initial change after surgery. Here is a picture that includes some examples of after surgery camisoles. You will need to talk to your surgeon about what type they recommend, if they have brand suggestions, and um, what form will fit best on you, depending if you've had a single, a double, or just a lumpectomy. But as you can see in this picture, on the left, there is a full camisole that goes down and that allows for your drains to be in place. Um, this is usually within the very beginning time frame post-surgery. And then on the right is more of a sports bra piece. And this allows for you to have prosthesis. You can have the weighted kind or you can have the light poof in place during your recovery. If you've had a lumpectomy, this is what the prosthesis will look like. Both sides are available. So on the bottom, you can see that the forms do include a nipple. So there will be a slight bump that shows through if that's an issue for you. Some people are very particular and want that shape. Others don't have an opinion either way. And then in the top part, you can see that the prosthesis is hollow in the middle. That's because in a lumpectomy, you still have breast tissue. 
you just may have an indentation or a little area that's kind of sunken in and you will notice it most. Um, it might not be visible through a bra or if it's a little bit larger, that breast could appear a little bit smaller. With this piece covering that lumpectomy site, you will not be able to tell the difference between one breast from the other or to see any type of indentation. This provides that coverage, that smooth kind of appearance, and it's a very lightweight prosthesis. Here are two examples of a full breast prosthesis. This would be used if you've had a single or double mastectomy. Now the one on the top looks very wrinkly and that's just the way it's laying on the table. When it is hung up and put in place in your bra, it's gonna fit very smooth and hang just like a real breast would hang. On the bottom, you can see it's a little bit more perked up. You can also see there's a nipple indentation that's on there. So that's gonna look more like what it's gonna appear on your chest. That one was a little bit on an angle, so it didn't have that natural wrinkly, kind of like sagging appearance um, from laying flat on the table. But they're, they come in different sizes, they come in different colors, they come in different weights. It is important for you to have a weighted prosthesis, especially if you've only had one breast removed. You need to have that symmetry and that balance in order to provide um, the correct weight on each side for your back. We don't wanna put a heavier weight on one side than the other side, because that's gonna cause you to lean, that's gonna cause strain on your back, your, your posture, everything. The complete and perfect balance of weight really does help with strengthening that core and ensuring that your posture stays in alignment with your spine. These two options are used for exercise and swimming. And I know you can only see the picture and you can't feel them, but the one on the left feels like a bean bag. It has a bunch of little pods on the inside and it's covered in a more breathable mesh. This allows for when you're exercising for heat to escape your body, for sweat, it's easy to clean and wash, uh, but under a sports bra, it's still gonna provide that look of a breast present. On the right is a clear prosthesis, very similar to the feel, texture, weight of the regular breast prosthesis that you would wear under a bra. But this one is gonna allow you to um, wear it during swimming. So you can go in a pool, you can go in the ocean, you can go in a lake. We want you to know that you can have all the same activities once you're healed that you could before your surgery. And so this clear breast will fit right into a swimsuit and will allow you to have those curves um, on the chest that show the appearance of a breast so that you feel comfortable you look great and wonderful and um, you don't feel awkward or concerned that one side is bigger than the other. These prostheses really do help balance that out. The next picture is nipples. So um, during the mastectomy, if you have had your nipple removed during the process and it's not able to be replaced, then you are missing that piece. And for some people, it is very important to have that appearance of a nipple, whether it's just under clothing or during intimacy. These nipples are covered by insurance. So they, they work almost like a sticker. They feel very much like latex, like a real, um, like a real skin product. Uh, they feel like the breast prosthesis. They come in different shapes, sizes, colors. So you can go into a boutique and you can look at all the different options and you can try to find the one that matches you. So you can look at your other nipple and try to find the one that matches best. Or if you've had a double mastectomy, you can pick out the one you like. Maybe you didn't like the ones you had before and you want them to be smaller. Maybe you want them to be bigger. Maybe you want them to be darker. Here's your chance to have exactly what you want. So there's a variety that's available to you. And all of the shop owners can talk about what your insurance covers, how often they'll provide these. But these are very simple to apply. They're very simple to take off and scrub and wash. 
Um, and again, they feel very much like a latex and skin product. So they look like a true nipple. Here are a couple examples of the pocket bras. Now, when I went into the boutique, I personally was very impressed. I saw these bras and said, I would wear these bras. Um, and I wondered if they fit me, even though I don't have a prosthesis, because to me, they don't look like, you know, what pocket bras used to be. Um, they're very fashionable. Here on the left, you have a strapless option. So if you're wearing a sundress or a strapless dress, or you need that look, you can still wear those types of clothing with one of these bras, even though you have a single or double prosthesis. In the middle is um, just a nice kind of colorful bra with lace trim. Um, and again, it's able to have, it has that pocket so you can slip your prosthesis in. It's important to use a special pocket bra for the prosthesis and not try to use just a regular bra. The pocket is very important to hold that prosthesis in place so that if you raise your arms up in the air, that prosthesis doesn't lift or move. That's another right reason why we don't recommend wearing the knitted knocker or the breast poof, you know, that lightweight one post-surgery for long-term. If you go out into public and you raise your arm in here, it doesn't have that weight to hold it in place. What's gonna happen is that prosthesis is gonna lift, move, come out of the bra, move out, just give you that awkward kind of appearance um, for if there's anyone else around you. And we want you to feel comfortable and we want you to feel confident. So we want you to have the right piece in at all times. On the right, that's definitely a bra that could be used um, nights, day for intimate settings. It's uh, very attractive uh, for in form fitting. And again, it, it can be used with a prosthesis. So you don't have to feel like you have to wear a bra that isn't beautiful, isn't pretty, doesn't flatter you. In stores, they do have camisoles um, that have a little bit of a shelf where you can put your prosthesis in them. And you can wear these under other shirts, sweaters, cardigans. They're really pretty. Now these are fashion items, so they are not covered by insurance, but we wanted you to know that they are available um, to wear. Some ladies feel more comfortable having the camisole on. It does go up high enough to kind of cover any scarring in that area, but still gives you the look that a lot of women have when they wear camisoles. So they make them special just for you. And here's just a glance at a variety of swimsuits that are available. They had full piece and tankinis and two pieces, but they all have the pockets available in them so that you can put your prosthesis in and go swimming and feel comfortable, beautiful, and have some fun, especially in Arizona. I know a lot of people use their swimming pools or go to pools. Um, if you vacation and travel, you just want to feel good. And so these are very good options that allow you to have that coverage to protect the area, but also allow you to put your prosthesis in so that you have your beautiful curves showing and glowing. In boutiques, they do offer lymphedema supplies and you can find these online and through a variety of different companies. There's a lot of great, great styles out there. Um, some of them are really intricate and artistic. Some of them just are plain colors or try to match your flesh tone. Depends on what you want to do. If you want to say, well, it's there, let me just show it and have it look good. Or let me try to minimize how it, the appearance of it. So let me get a flesh tone. Again, they come in a variety. This is just the little example that they had at the boutique. They do have the sleeve for your arm. And then they do have one that goes over the hand. Get matching, you can get mix match. These are all available for purchase. We want you to know that there are two available breast cancer support groups at Ironwood, and we are always open to taking our patients or even others in the community that might not be a patient of Ironwood to get that peer support that is so essential. It's important to talk to others who have 
walked in similar shoes to you, who have had similar experiences, who've maybe had the same treatment as you, get tips and advice from them and see what they've done. I know in the, the breast group that occurs on Saturday that I facilitate, the women are very open about sharing um, their stories about surgery, their scarring, their nipples, their prosthesis, their reconstruction. Um, they're very just open and willing to talk about the good, the bad, um, and give advice or give suggestions on how to wear clothing to make it look better. And no one says you have to get reconstruction. If you choose to just have your breast removed during the mastectomy process and wear prosthesis, we hope that some of the options you've seen today kind of inspire you to know that you can still look good and feel good and choose to wear them if you want or choose not to. It's really about confidence in what your personal preference is. We also have a metastatic cancer support group and we do try to encourage those uh, ladies who have uh, breast cancer and a metastatic diagnosis to participate in that group. There's several members there just because you share unique needs and we want you to be around those that share similar needs and concerns and worries and ideas. You also have two social workers at Ironwood and you have our integrative MD, Dr. Heidi Rula. So she is able to kind of help you throughout your journey with symptom management and emotional well-being and just um, treating some of those things to improve your wellness, to improve your nutrition, to improve your overall health so that you can work towards preventing reoccurrence, you work towards being healthier, happier, and just having a more successful survivorship. There is our contact information, our email, and our phone number. I know it was a quick video today, but um, we just briefly wanted to show you some of the products. It's definitely something that you should go in person and check out. I know that Barbara's allows for you to call and make a private appointment. They used to have home visits available, but due to COVID and some of the restrictions to keep everyone safe, they are only doing appointments privately in their boutique. There's other stores around the Valley too. We just use Barbara's because um, we have a, a long connection with them and they were so gracious to allow me to come in and talk to them and take pictures of some of the products that are available um, to patients. Every insurance is different. And so it's important to go to a boutique that knows how to work with insurance companies or to talk to your insurance company in advance. Every insurance provides some form of coverage for the bras and prosthesis. However, how many bras your insurance will cover or how often they'll allow replacement of those products is different with every plan. So Medicare might be different than United Healthcare versus Cigna versus Aetna versus Ambetter and all the different insurance plans that are out there. So it's really important to work with a shop that can contact your insurance and find out what is allotted for you in advance so that you can consider that information when you make your purchases. So find out how many bras you get every year. Find out how often you can switch out your breast prosthesis. Uh, find out about the nipples. Find out about the swimwear. Find out about everything that's available to you and consider that. And then look at what you want that maybe not might not be covered by the insurance, but it would make you feel a lot better. And spend some time in a store. Get fitted. Don't try to buy one online without going in and getting fitted. It's really, really important to make sure you get the right weight, the right size, the right style that fits your body, that creates that symmetry and um, comfort and also provides that physical structure that's needed for the posture, the balance and support to your back. Again, um, just a quick, just a quick flash that there's, there's products for lumpectomy, there's products for single mastectomy, there's products for double mastectomy. There's things available to use for swimming, exercise, there's sports bras that are designed just for prosthesis. I, I don't have a picture of those, but uh, they were very impressive. They look like something I would want to wear myself. A lot of the clothes that actually was in the boutique, I thought, oh, I could wear that. I'd want to wear that or that bra. 
again, look for options that make you feel comfortable, that make you feel pretty, that make you feel at ease with whatever style you choose to wear and whatever surgery and reconstruction you've chosen to have. If you have any questions or any concerns, please contact Social Work by calling 480-314-6660, or you can email us at socialwork at ironwoodcrc.com, or you can contact Jessica or I directly at our phone numbers. And definitely if you see us in the treatment centers and you have a question, stop us in the hallway, wave us down, ask us, we are there for you and we're happy to help. Thank you for joining. Stay safe and take care. Thank you for joining us for our virtual Lunch and Learn series. We hope you enjoyed this session. There will be a replay of this Lunch and Learn on the Ironwood YouTube and social media channels. For more information regarding our supportive care services, classes, and events, email us at wellness at ironwoodcrc.com. Thank you for spending time with us today.